Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Just Keep Swimming 1111. I hope I find you all well today. Thank you so much for watching and liking and subscribing. So I'm just trying to get into the moment to get a beautiful reading for you today. I'm going to try to keep this message quick. Okay, Spirit, please be with me and give me an enlightened message. Speak truth to me through my mind, through my feelings, through my energy, through this crystal ball, through the cards, and through the vibrations from other people watching what is going on in their lives. Reveal to me secret truths, secret feelings, hidden things. I am an open and ready to receive vessel of information from the Akashic Records and my spirit guides. Any Ascended Masters helping me along this journey, please be welcome. Angels are welcome. My spirit guides and loved ones are welcome. Please give me a message today. Okay, so I'm feeling very peaceful. I'm also feeling like there's new life being given. There's a new beginning. There's a new there's a new feeling for someone. You're feeling refreshed. You're feeling new. Um, I'm seeing a snake and the snake skin is shedding. There's some skin that has been shed. There's a layer, an excess layer of someone that's been shed. Someone recently underwent a dramatic transformation, both inside and out. I think because there was such a dramatic transformation from the inside, they changed their outside. Um, someone did something to their hair. Someone may have shed um, many pounds or looked different. Uh, someone got a new wardrobe. And someone is thinking about a new vehicle. Someone's just moving into a house or preparing to do this. Someone is learning how to be still and be quiet. Someone's learning to close their eyes and meditate. This is a very big task because the person undergoing this current lesson is a quick talker and a quick thinker and always on the go with something. So to sit down and transmute negative energy into light and to sit down and listen and not talk or learn or just preach, teach, this person is learning to be still and quiet and listen. I'm also seeing a desert for some reason a very large, vast desert. Uh, maybe you feel very alone or isolated. It's also spiritual. It's the heat of the desert, the barrenness of the desert. There's nothing there but clarity. Someone's being transformed in the silence and solitude so you can see your life clearly, so you can see your purpose clearly. And something about a dog. I'm hearing something about a dog. I don't know, maybe there's a dog. Uh, passing from this world to the next with Anubis. 
There's a dog that may be sick or ill or passing for some people. Uh, if it's not a personal dog, it, Rahu, the north node of the moon, is also represented uh, by a dog. So I feel that you're coming into your karmic lessons that you're supposed to learn in this life. You're being aware of what they are. You're going with it. You're, you're freely volunteering to get out of your shell and be uncomfortable. I'm hearing keys. Somebody is, yeah, unlocking the keys to a new house. Unlocking the keys to a new car. Un using their keys to unlock their heart. Some people are using the key to unlock their mind. Paradigm shift. There's a lot of Aquarius energy here. Leo energy is very strong. And Gemini. Uh, I also feel that someone is being transformed because their past life, they were in a cold place. Experiencing the warmth is very different night and day. I, I'm seeing the snow and vastness and ice and oceans, and then I'm seeing the desert. So I feel like either someone's traveling from a cold place to a warm place or vice versa. Someone may want to go see ice, may want to go see coldness. Um, I'm also hearing the cold hard truth is present after you go through a fiery transformation. Someone's going to overcome an illness and a sickness and have a long life. Someone's overcoming a cancer, I feel. Um, they're, clear, they're cleansing their, their system. They're detoxifying. They're going to have a long life. Someone also may have a hole in their heart or some kind of a heart issue. And that's also going to be surgically healed and spiritually, mentally, and emotionally healed. Um, if someone is going through a broken heart, this is going to be transformed and you will be healed. Who's coming into your life? Who's coming into your life? Who's coming into your life? Someone is coming in. There's going to be a star in the sky that sticks out the most to some people. Um, it looks like a, a very big bright star, but it's a Venus. There's a relationship coming in. Uh, you're going to be looking at the stars and you might see this very large star. It's Venus. It's the planet is what I'm hearing. Um, love is being blessed onto you. And whoever you meet next through, uh, through after this breakup is going to be the person you're going to spend a life with. You're going to meet someone very soon and you're going to spend a life with this person. And there's something to do with water. You may have to cross water or go near water with this person. There's going to be an offer. For you, this is like a shot in the dark, uh, a Hail Mary. Uh, wow, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. A once in a million lifetime opportunity. Um, someone has a very big opportunity here. And I think that you will jump on it. I think this person's going to make you feel amazing. Okay, that's what I see in my crystal ball. So I'll see you in a second for the tarot. Hello guys, I'm back for the reading, and uh, let's go ahead and see what's going on here with this. Okay, so I feel like um, when I was doing my crystal ball reading, I saw a desert. It was beautiful. It was a really beautiful desert. It was in the daytime, um, and it just was so warm, and the, the pyramids, the shape of the desert looked like pyramids. It was just so pretty. Um, anyways, when I was pulling out the cards and trying to meditate on what I thought um, would be a good... Sorry, my microphone wasn't by me. <laughs> what I thought would be a good um, gemstone for you to maybe think about or focus on or set intention for you was the desert rose. I was walking by my shelf and I saw this and I'm like, look how gorgeous this desert rose is. It's so pretty. Um... It has little crystals that kind of glisten. 
uh, but it's white and it has this desert look to it, um, like sand, but there's these little sparkles of crystal and it's just so pretty. Uh, for me, this actually represents the mind and the imagination. You can actually meditate on desert rose crystals and a crystal grid to help you with your dreams to recall them. Um, these are like your brain. Look how it looks like a brain. Okay, it represents thoughts and intentions and subconscious and the way your brain works. Mental, <laughs> mental issues of all kinds can be really healed with the desert rose. Um, so I feel like there's a lot of mental confliction maybe in this relationship and it makes you feel a little bit uneasy about the whole thing, to be honest. Um, you're thinking a lot is kind of what I'm getting from this, just thinking an awful lot. And uh, you know, that's okay. Sorry for that little glitch, guys, little interruption there. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and dive into this reading. Whew. So I went ahead and used my tarot for the main reading. I have the Lover's Oracles. I wanted to see how your person feels about you. What does your true love really truly feel in regards to you? And that's the Lover's Oracles. This is more along the lines of what your lover is thinking in regards to you. And these are going to be more of the outcome, okay? Kind of little oracles about the finale, um, what's going to happen and what needs to happen and what spirit is asking of you guys and the lessons that are being learned, okay? And this is all currently what's currently going on right here, these three. There's two cards under these which represents you, your current position in this relationship. These three are going to represent your past and these three are going to represent your future, okay? So let's go ahead and reveal what's going on first and foremost with you and the way your person feels about you, okay? How does your person feel about you? I'll start from the top, okay? And this card is Secret Admirer. Wow, okay, someone has deeper feelings for you than they're letting on. That is definitely true for you in many cases. The person you love loves you, but it's more of a secret. They don't really let you know. They don't talk about it to you. Maybe you're distant, maybe you're separated in some way, but they're a secret admirer. They may not be honest with you about this. They may not come clear to you about this, but this is the truth. They really have deeper feelings for you than you are aware of. Because beware of what you're projecting. For the qualities you admire in this person are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like about your lover are also in some way your own reflection. Now this could be a past life reflection, this could be current, whatever is going on in your life, the way this person feels about you and, and the, the way they treat you is somehow a projection of either a subconscious or conscious way that you see yourself or think about yourself. It's kind of difficult um, to understand that. but. That is the truth. So whatever you're receiving is in some way something you're projecting, okay? I'm not saying it's on purpose. I'm just saying it is something that's going on inside you and your twin or your divine soulmate is projecting these thoughts and feelings based on how you feel about yourself. The next one is, deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. So deep in your heart, you already know how this person feels about you. I think deep in your heart, you already know this person really loves you, even if they don't say it or show it. Deep in your heart, you know that some of the things you're experiencing that may be good or negative in your life are things that you're projecting. Deep inside your heart of hearts, you're aware of these facts. Okay, so let's put those over here. Um, your current position, King of Pentacles. So first card out of here is an earth sign. This is going to be your Taurus, Capricorn majority, but Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Even if you're not in the earth sign, you're projecting this energy that you are responsible, committed, honest, true, loyal, very, very grounded. Um, you're a sensible individual. You watch how you spend money and you're always ready to help others if they need to. If they need money or some kind of support, you're usually there to support them. Uh, I do feel a lot of you are helping the earth. Um, you have dreams or aspirations of doing more, 
but it is very conscious for you right now to be a conservative okay um, as in conserving you know how much trash you're putting out in the world what is your what is your mark there um, you're trying to watch what you buy what you eat how much trash you put out there I already said that sorry <laughs> Uh, you might be going around and cleaning up trash in other places and I feel some of you are wanting to help the homeless that did come across page of cups comes up right underneath you this is an emotional and subconscious loving message that hasn't come through yet you've been wanting this person to talk to you you've been wanting this person to reach out I do feel we're dealing with a Scorpio I think you love a Scorpio um, and they're wanting to reach out to you, but they haven't. They are keeping this love a secret. They aren't expressing their real feelings for you, and you're completely aware of this. You're coming in as very strong and mature. They're coming in very childish. The way they talk to you is very immature emotionally. They may be good with money, they may be good with business, but they're not good with their feelings. What happened to you and this person in the past? We have Six of Pentacles. Ticking time bomb and two of wands. So, in your past with this person, you were overgiving. It was just ready to blow. You've done this before in two other relationships, two major relationships in your life, whatever age you were. You overgave yourself, you burned yourself out. You gave a lot of your time, energy, money, effort, and focus on this person, and you did not focus on self, and you did not focus on children, if you had any. If this isn't you per se, it's how you grew up. This is your past. Maybe you felt like you were an afterthought and your mom and dad were always obsessed with their relationship or their other significant other. You were not in the forefront. Um, there's a lot of past life issues here that haven't been uh, dealt with for a lot of people there's whoever you're dealing with did not deal with issues in regards to their parents and it's been a long time and these emotions the tears that need to happen the healing that needs to happen hasn't and this person's been kind of buying their time trying to get away with it trying not to look at this past hurt and heal it but in order to heal it you have to deal with it um, so I do see someone will be dealing with it soon. There is a ticking time bomb in regards to the past that's going to blow up in about two weeks. I do feel this is going to involve a Libra or Virgo energy. And a Leo or Sagittarius energy. Okay. Let's continue with what are you dealing with right now? You have determined message of faith seven of pentacles so your current position is you are extremely focused about your spiritual journey very focused it's like you're honing in to your spiritual path it's the only thing you think about and focus on right now is your spiritual path and purpose you're very much reflecting into the self I think there's been seven years of hardship for you. Um, Saturn is going to turn this around for you. Saturn is the seventh planet, is it not? Yeah, I think Saturn is going to turn this around for you and give you some wealth. I think if you've been struggling financially, you're working on building your career, building your wealth. You have sent out intentions. A lot of you have written down affirmations or maybe some kind of a ritual or um, vision board, a journaling that's going to magnetize your wealth and your abundance and it's going to bring it forward to you. You're very, very focused on pentacles. Whatever you lost in the past in regards to giving money away to a person, you're gonna actually get back sevenfold so if you gave someone $500 in total in the past trying to help them, you're going to get seven times that. Um, whatever you've given people in donations for readings, you're going to get seven times that back. Whatever you've given as far as time, energy, effort, you're going to get back seven times. For those of you that felt drained and burnt out and had the life sucked right out of you, you're going to feel invigorated, 
new new like your body's going to be new you're going to feel like you have energy and purpose and it, a whole new life is opened up for you the burnout stage is over um, you're going to get what you want you planted good seeds and the harvest is on the way what's coming in your future self-reflection love story and passion Whew, those are some of my favorite cards guys favorite this love story is being written. It's in the process. It's not over. You're in the middle of it. Okay. Part of this love story, part of this journey with your person is involving your self-reflection. You're going to have to do this in order to come out ahead in this, in this love relationship. I also see passion and romance is coming into your future. Um, a lot of you are dealing with a Leo or a Scorpio in this department. Aries also. Cancer also, someone's very affectionate. Someone's very loving and touchy. Um, there's going to be kissing. There's going to be uh, the revealing of your chest, okay? Taking off the shirt or kissing the chest. Um, there's going to be stroking of the hair and long looks into each other's eyes. You are coming into a relationship with somebody here in the future. It's faded. It's part of your journey. I'll get some clarification on who that is as I go along. For now, let's see what your person's thoughts are. What does this person think about you? Or what are they thinking, period? What are you thinking? Okay, so the first one is God of Action, which is Thor, and he is in reverse. Aries energy, Libra energy too. In reverse, the one seven, Aries Libra. There could be an Aries Libra involved, but there is no action when Thor is in reverse no one's taking the initiative which is aries you have to take the initiative and no it's not happening right now so on their mind they are scared and fearful unable to take the initiative to move towards you and discover some kind of opening there's there's a closed door here then we have boundaries so and then, look this person has a crystal ball i love that so your person is thinking of creating boundaries with you but they're also looking backwards behind their shoulder if they walked away from you and cut you out of their lives or created some kind of a barrier or boundary between the two of you, they are looking back now at what was said and what was done and they're second guessing themselves. They're trying to think, is that correct? Is the boundary that I made fair? Is it just? Is it righteous with the sort of truth? And then we have rebirth, the number seven. Seven is very prominent here today. Seven and nine, very satarian energy, Ganesh, um, also root chakra energy anyways you got rebirth phoenix rising this person is changing the way they think about you wow that's a big message this person used to think a certain way about you where i think they had to kind of cut you out or so they thought and now all of a sudden what's going on mentally is they're changing their entire perception about you they're opening their heart see the revealing of the chest there it is she's not wearing a shirt the revealing of the chest this person's going to open up his or her heart to you. They're going to reopen up. And I think you're going to be shocked as heck because you're going to be like, what? I didn't even see this coming. Um, I also feel like in the past, if you guys had a breakup, it was like an explosion. It just ruined you guys. Twin flames, two of wands. So you, this person was giving to somebody else, possibly an earth sign. Okay. Giving to somebody else and you. <laughs> And it was like ready to blow. He, he or she couldn't keep up the facade of living double lives. Gemini energy, double lives. And uh, they're looking back at their actions. Yeah, literally their actions. They're looking back at how they acted with you. And they're trying to change and be reborn. For some of you guys, this has to do with a ritual or spell uh, that you want them to see clearly. The sun energy, Leo energy. You want them to awaken. Somebody may have done a chant or a... A spell or some kind of a, a vision board or journal or prayer like prayer to God pray to the universe for this person to open up their eyes and get a different perspective and see you for who you really are because you're under the impression that they did not see you correctly they judged you wrongfully they didn't see you correctly and they did an action that was not just and so you want them to see the error of their ways um, and this is happening this is happening within a matter of two weeks. There's some big, big shift and some big rebirth. And this is all because of your faith. 
your intentions also. You sent that message. The seagull magic magically represents messages going out. The seagull is very important. The seagull represents um, confident action being taken with intention. It's sending out a message and attracting it. Um, there's something also I feel somebody did with magic. It looks like um, it looks like a little pitchfork, like um, Aquaman's staff. You know his his whatever. It's the little U with the line through it. The staff. It's a magnet. And somebody magically was drawing a magnet like that, a seagull, they call it a seagull, on the candle to attract something to them. Attracting wealth. For some people, you're attracting money and wealth. And for some people, you're attracting communication. And for some people, you're attracting this person back into your life. And they're turning around. They're feeling the, the magnified um, call that you've been giving. Someone may have also made a phone call or written a letter or sent a message and they're going to reply very soon in a brand new way that you didn't expect. Now let's clarify what's going on with the outcome here for you guys. We have balance, temperance energy, Libran energy, Sagi energy, Gemini energy. This is the passion flower. It's the passion flower, number six, lover's energy. And we had passion, the word passion. Maybe someone loves passion flowers, passion fruit. Maybe there's something there. Um, but I'll go ahead and read this. I do feel like in the future, your guys' twin flame soulmate journey is going to be balanced. And I'm also hearing the word restoration. Okay, so it's going to be restored. Let's go ahead and read this number six. Passion flower. Um, a return to center is needed and may also be offered. Have you taken something too far or maybe not reached out enough? Now is the time to come back to a more harmonious and even place. Stability is what you should be focused on right now and rash actions and decisions are to be tempered. Now is the time to take a risk. I'm sorry, not to take a risk, but rather step back just a little and see what transpires, getting a new perspective. You may find you need to get more rest or time away or a retreat. Wow, this is beautiful. The magical correspondences of the passion flower, the uses of it is love, sleep, balance, visions, peace, and friendship. The deities of the passion flower is Aphrodite, Venus, Hestia, Harmonia, Hypnos, Nox and Nynx, and Yamaya. The planet, get this, is Venus. The signs are Libra and Taurus. The element is water. Now in my crystal ball reading, I saw Libra. Libra is very prominent today. In my crystal ball reading, I saw the Libra. And uh, it's so funny because I also saw Venus. There's a star. Venus is coming to bless your relationship. And it's funny because the sign of Libra represents uh, marriage. Um, commitment with another person. The seventh house in your astrology chart represents your actual future marriage or current marriage. It represents your relationship with someone that you're going to spend your life with. And I do feel that you are going to be spending your life with someone. Libra is very prominent. So is Virgo. Could be a Libra Virgo cusper or a Virgo in Vedic. Um, but Libra is prominent. Super, super, super today. I just want to put that out there. And we'll keep going as we go along. But let's just see what else is going on right here for the outcome. I got, oh Lord, you are so ready to forgive. You're so full of unfailing love for all who ask for your help. Psalm 86 verse 5. On the back you also have, the Lord is for me, so I will have no fear. What can mere people do to me? So if someone is worried that there's spells that have tried to affect your relationship or dark, you know, darkness, dark magic, dark influence. Who are they to you? If the Lord is with you, who, is, who can be against you? Who can even withstand uh, the Lord and the Lord's purpose for your life, the universe's purpose for your life? The Lord is obviously saying he or she is with you. Divine Mother, Divine Father is with you. They're on your side, on your team, on this side of justice. So what can mere people do to you? You're a light worker. Okay. The next two oracles, I got two, so I just stuck with it. You have She Who Hopes, Renee. 
love, hope, and relationships. I love it. So someone is very hopeful that this relationship is going to take a turnaround. Someone is really, really strong Saggy energy, by the way, super positive, and they're seeing a vision of your relationship with this person together in the future, and you know that it's going to last, and you're manifesting this. You're calling this in with magic and with intention and with prayer, all spiritual aspects. For many people, you're calling in your soulmate. You're calling in your twin flame. And because your intentions are so pure and so true, I feel the Lord is going to bless you. And she's looking into the water. This reminds me of the princess and the frog. Do you guys see the little frog right there in the lily pad? And there's the princess looking down at the frog. <laughs> I think that's adorable. Um, don't worry, your frog, the person that has been a frog, is transforming, okay? They're gonna turn into a prince. Um, so I think that in your future, you're gonna get back with someone that you've already been with in the past, or you've at least already known, okay? You could have known them in high school, you could have known them in a past life, however that works for you. There's a past life past connection relationship coming in the near future and you're going to have happiness for once and for all <laughs> the next card is she who yearns is desiree and i saw the word desire okay desiree yearn longing and pining for i love this picture it's very beautiful she has athena's crown around her head of glory and victory okay i, I love that isn't that beautiful She's yearning, looking at the moon, saying, where is my love? And I'm hearing the Romeo and Juliet, where art thou? <laughs> where is my love? Where are you? I'm waiting for the love of my life. I've been waiting. Where are you? I'm, I'm calling you. I'm bringing you in. Someone is manifesting a very deep and beautiful relationship. Good job. You're going to get it. Your love story is being written in the stars and it's already written, but it's in the middle of being kind of like rewritten. I think that you've stepped up your game and you're asking for more than you've ever asked because you love yourself more than you ever have. As soon as you started loving yourself more, you're calling in this love. It's so funny. It's like the more you become a little bit more selfish into your own world and yourself, the more you get someone coming in. Self-love is very magnetizing and very beautiful. It's something that most people don't do because they think it's selfish and um, it's not right. But actually, it's, it's the energy you need to attract. It's an attractive energy, very Venus. The other outcome cards are seeing. Perspective, truth, and knowledge. Clarity is coming. See, the third eye is opening. A lot of you guys did call upon spirit and in some form or fashion of having your person open up their eyes. Um, some of you guys may have even been using different herbs to help this person open their eyes. Okay, so I think you're doing that. Um, there's a there's an herb, I think it's called Eye Bright. And if you use that with your candle rituals in, in voodoo, I'm sorry, hoodoo, um, you can actually um, help people open up their mind and their eyes to a new perspective of who you are and the situation you're calling attention to. The next card is choice, free will, courage, and willpower, and change. And I see that again, there's with the two of wands and then this choice, this person is looking back at the past with you and they're gonna make a different choice. I feel they're gonna return back. They're gonna return home to you because there's little butterflies around this woman's hair and she's on the horse, saggy energy again, optimism is pulling her forward. Someone's choosing to go back towards you or reconcile a relationship with you. And I'll read from some of these. But let's go ahead and clarify the actions of this person. Spirit, can you please clarify who I'm reading for? The King of Pentacles. Can you give me more information about this King of Pentacles? They're saying there's a fire sign you're dealing with. Um, definitely Leo, Aries, Sag. Obviously, those are the fire signs, Stephanie. Anyways, uh, this person's being difficult. The King of Pentacles is more the responsible one. I got three cards, so let's just take it. We have the Ace of Pentacles. There's a new beginning for you. 
money is coming in financial bliss can i just say hello someone's opening up a new business it is tarot cards it could be a channel you're going to be very successful there's another person opening a business with um i know i keep saying this but it's been for weeks uh, masseuse or reiki healing they're going to be getting a massage table and they've maybe ordered some kind of equipment to help them in this business and they're going to start advertising online soon and in about six weeks you're going to be getting a big financial flow from that it's like it's going to be a big part of your future life um, and you're going to do this for a period of time and right now this month is the month you're feeling very creative about it and you're doing a lot of creative things as far as your logo your business cards your business name uh, your contacts you're really being very creative spirits giving you a lot of downloads to help you in this future business for a lot of you it's just a business in general okay business in general you're starting something new and money's going to be coming in this is the time of planting the seed and the harvest will come in around september october time frame the harvest will be there okay uh yeah six of wands this is victory success and moving forward um yes you the person i'm reading for is going to win if you feel like you're in the losing team if you feel like you've lost something um you're going to get victory back you're going to be the winner if you're in some kind of a competition this duality with somebody else uh, maybe a karmic partner you're going to be the successful one especially if you have fire and earth in your chart uh, the final card is Ten of Cups, Cancerian Energy. We do have Pisces and Cancer coming in, Scorpio also, but Pisces and Cancer, yes. And this is the energy of happiness, family, marriage, relationships, and peace in your home, peace in your family. A lot of you guys have been struggling with having a peaceful home because money may have been tight or children may be um, opposing you and you're finally creating a healthy schedule uh, the family's getting settled you're making more sense now um, you're making a better business decisions you're being a better provider and a better leader and a better teacher this is creating a nice harmony with the family also money may be creating a nice harmony with the family right now you may be blessed okay with some kind of a substantial income increase and it's because of all the giving you've been doing clarifying the past is six of pentacles and it's so weird because we already had the six of pentacles my santa card okay see there's a six of pentacles so over giving trying to give to too many people yes this is clarifying the past you were giving to too many people eight of swords you felt trapped stuck you couldn't speak out you couldn't do anything this was a vicious cycle there was nothing you could do to fix it you felt really <laughs> stuck in a cycle a vicious cycle of god every time i come in a relationship it's the same thing every time i start something it feels like it ends up to where you're the one over giving and they're the ones always receiving and it's not fair and you felt very conflicted about this mentally in the past five of pentacles you felt like you lost you were deserted, abandoned, you weren't chosen, you were rejected, dark night of the soul. You lost a lot of money in these relationships or a lot of time, maybe both. You just lost, period, and that was your past. You weren't on the winning team, not in the past. Nine of hearts kind of tried to come out at me, nine of cups. Wish fulfillment is on the way, okay? Wish fulfillment is on the way. And then you have here the ace of swords. This is clear, clear new beginnings clear new beginnings are on the way for you you are going to see very clearly there's going to be some shocking news about love someone's rushing in libra energy could very well be coming in and cancer pisces scorpio rushing in to give you love and affection and commitment what you've been praying for about this person seeing you clearly or anyone that you're trying to call in to see you for who you really are they're they are going to see you they're going to see you they're going to know exactly who you are there's going to be a lightning bolt like clash instant aha it's a click they're gonna get it they're gonna get it they're gonna make a good decision for you in the future tell me a little bit more about the passion card what's coming in with this love it's definitely Libra seven of swords secret admirer secret love this person's not being honest about how they feel about you it's king of swords it is a Libra energy for sure for sure Aquarius too strong possibility there or something about the seventh and eleventh house ace of cups bottom of the deck this is true love this is a new love. This is an invigorated new beginning. You have almost all the aces. You have ace of pentacles, ace of swords, ace of cups. Okay, ace of wands is coming in in the future. Uh, this person coming into your life is keeping secrets. We're not gonna, we're not gonna mince words. 
this king of swords is coming in to love you very masculine energy i love it this person's in love with you and wants to grab you and kiss you and be all about you and you're going to find out that this secret admirer can't resist you anymore um they're going to be reaching out very soon through text and phones like you're going to be communicating through technology a lot and especially especially in september for a lot of you um okay the next uh, card i'm going to read is desiree she who yearns desiree longingly watches the moon rise she sheds her robes and ribbons for they are not needed they are coming dark of okay they are not needed in the coming dark of night she will return to the laurel wreath and lure to the sun god apollo her realm is the mystery of light desiree seeks her divine feminine self in the cycles of the moon birds come whining i'm sorry i can't talk today birds come winging in towards her and messages from the moon are carrying the answers she seeks Desiree teaches us how to fully commit to pursuing our dreams rather than hope for something that she has never had true faith in. She has begun the process of making her desires real by taking action in her thoughts, making sure that she always changes her thoughts to positive ones to manifest what she is really wanting. These are the actions needed to bring this into a reality. The message of this card is to fully commit to your wants and admit you are simply stuck in the mode of pining for what you cannot reach. Your energy is at stake here. Will you shed yourself of what you do not need in order to gain what you really want? Are you unsure of your yearning? Wishful thinking has its place. But now is the moment to drive forward with your goal and set the goal aside. The moon is reachable if you dedicate the, resource, the resources necessary. How far away is this thing I long for? Are my goals realistic? Am I giving up too much or not enough? What is the balance? So from what I take from that message is, are you willing to sacrifice to get what you want? If you want a new car, are you willing to sacrifice that monthly payment? If you want that new body, are you willing to sacrifice the foods you love for a time? Are you willing to put in the hours of working out? Um, there's always sacrifice for gain. Are you willing to sacrifice time and energy needed at night uh, to focus on a business? Are you, you know what I mean? I, I can go on and on guys. The point is, are you willing to sacrifice any part of yourself to get what you really want? Also, someone is, has obsessive thinking, obsessive um, worry, and sword talk. Sword talk, which is always second guessing and thinking the worst outcome. Are you willing to sacrifice that and train your body and train your brain to think differently? Are you willing to teach your brain to stop thinking so negatively and quit thinking in those habits? If so, there's 21 days to change your paradigm, to change this habit. You need to get rid of it, okay? And if it's not you, it's your other person. We do have Libra very strong here. I'm gonna read Renee. Okay love hope and relationships renee she who hopes perches on a bridge to get acquainted with the frog below even though she's already kissed a few frogs she's willing to give it one more shot she does not allow past disappointments to keep her from opening up her heart once again her crown shows she knows herself to be queen already she has no need to be completed by someone she's already fulfilled However, there is room in her world for a partner who will stand beside her and support her and love her. Renee believes in her sanctity of power of love that she will find what she seeks. There you go, guys. You've kissed a few frogs and you still have hope for the one. And the one is coming on a horse. <laughs> it's truly, I mean, they could be a saggy, but they are coming in. Um, either way, they're all coming in, all the signs. They're Your true love is on the way. So that is from that deck. Um, I've already read Balance. I will read um, Rebirth. Let me grab that. Okay. Number seven.
Okay. Congratulations, you are being ushered into a brand new phase of life. As a brand new version of your former self, being born can be a painful experience, just like a baby exiting the warm, comforting womb, entering into a world in a haze and confusion, screaming her way into the new world. You may feel like you have been in a period of the old dying off, a dark night of the soul, literally gestating yourself. You are now ready to pull yourself out of the ashes of the former you and open your eyes with fresh wisdom and perspectives. Once you are ready to the fiery regenerating energy of the rebirth, it's going to come sweeping through your field, getting you prepared for a new exciting thing, helping you become the person you need to be to make the dreams you intend to create a real possibility. Can you feel it coming? With one chapter of your life closed, are you turning a fresh new page of the book of your new life? A brand new chapter is being a new version of you. You are entering a spring phase of life, ready to grow a new harvest. What are you going to create and what are you waiting for? What do you want to grow? What action steps are you going to take? I love it guys. It's all about the selfhood, self-love, self-regeneration, all of this creating healthy boundaries, and taking the proper action forward. Okay, and I'm going to read 17, choice. Within every moment is the power to choose. Your choices choose and determine your experience of life. So choose wisely. This card is an encouragement for you to realize how much power you have through the choices you make. Sometimes we choose certain things because of familiarity or subconscious patterning. <laughs> patterning. Sometimes we feel like life is happening to us, not for us, when in truth our life is playing out exactly how we're choosing it to. Choose to make your situation better and more positive, and instantly the higher path will begin choosing you in return. Choose to let go of old patterns and behavior that hinder your well-being, and you will make room for a higher choice to come through. Look at the outcomes of your current choices, the energy of your relationships, your jobs, health, daily routines, the way you spend your time. Which of your current choices support your highest vision for who you want to be and the life you really have come here to live? Which choices do not support that vision? Choose a goal for you right now that will help you achieve. Start with a small one if you like. Plan how you will meet this goal and every day make a choice about how you will stick to this until it comes to fruition. Remember, when we have a choice, life becomes an exciting world of opportunities, simply waiting for us to pick up the one we want. Step out of your comfort zone and try something new. You are holding the reins of your life now. Choose who you want to be and how you want to live, and who you want by your side, and ride. That's beautiful. I love it, guys. So there's a lot of happiness coming your way. I'm so happy. Um, before I end this reading, I want you to ask a question. And I'm going to pick an oracle to give you an answer to your question. So just think real quietly to yourself right now, and I'll give me about one few seconds here, and I'll give you the answer. told you sevens and nines today the endings <laughs> because there's a new beginning you actually got the card connection beautiful relationship coming forward for you it's gorgeous you are calling in that soulmate you are calling in that relationship you are calling in that person for life and you're going to have them the connection is here and it's real you're not crazy <laughs> it's a very beautiful very beautiful card um so yeah there's the answer to your question let's go ahead and read it
Cherish those who are dear to you now. Connection with our highest self often feels like romantic love. We each have an angelic self that deeply loves ourselves and others. And when we allow ourselves to feel it, maintaining this spiritual connection with our angelic self is the purest form of love we can experience. If you're in a relationship, cherish your special person. If you're single, turn to your family, friends, and pets and loved ones. Hold on tight to love in any form. Be conscious about how you give love out because you're attracting it back. Be consciously thankful of love's blessings, however imperfect it may be. When someone gives thanks for their love that they have in their life, they attract more of it and even more better ones. They give their heart in love and they become like an angel, carrying us through the difficulties into better times. To keep love close, guard against laziness or taking your partner for granted or taking your life for granted. Similarly, anger, jealousy, and insecurity can estrange your partner that you're trying to call in. If you stay kind to your love, together you can cross the difficult world ocean. If you feel emotionally distant or out of sync, make a gratitude list out of all the best things about him or her or even yourself and your life. Recall how you met this person and how you felt about your partner at that time. Notice all these little things, big and small, the things your partner did or said that made you feel this love. Then turn to the relationship and turn it over to the universe. Radiate your feelings of gratitude out, of the com- out to the community and the loved ones around you. Project this love that you felt once and see whom you attract. The artwork of this car- card is crossing the difficult ocean. The element is water and the number is nine. The phase is nourishment. So, okay. Sagis were super prominent. Libras were super prominent. Okay. Scorpio also popped up. Cancer popped up. Um, Pisces also popped up a little bit. Okay, this is about um, dreams and fruition and envisioning and taking action. Virgo popped up, Capricorn popped up, and Taurus popped up. The strongest signs out of the reading is going to be your Virgo Libra, and it's going to be your Sagittarius and Scorpio. Those are going to be the stronger ones. Um, The one in the main reading about you could be either the Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo for you you're resonating in that energy or maybe you're part of that sign sun moon rising or venus mars if you are seeking another male energy for your life and jupiter if you're a woman seeking a male partner in your life earth signs will be prominent in those areas um anyways this is your reading i hope you liked it please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't please go to my website jks1111 and order your tarot cards if you are interested Um, My love oracles are also there. I'm going to pull one just for fun before I go, guys. Let's get one for you. Dun-da-da-dun. Let's pick one. Let's pick one. Okay. I got, I am someone who is looking for love, real love, ridiculous, inconvenient, consuming, can't live without each other love. That's from Sex and the City. It's part of my love oracles. They got a little wet, so they're a little bit, they're a little bit bent. But um, yeah, so if you guys are looking for that crazy love, someone that you are longing for, a real love, it's ridiculous, it's crazy, it's consuming, can't live without it, it's coming, it's on the way. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again soon and have a blessed, beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.